Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well and it's finally sort of sunny. We are already at Norton Disney. I am walking the course. It's been a sketchy 24 hours wondering if they're going to run but you know what? I'm feeling positive. Hopefully we'll get no more rain and the ground feels really good. The team have done so much work. So first up is Maggie in the novice. So let's get into it. Like a light, lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words very busy Norton Disney and I am quite nervous guys because we are doing our first novice today so you probably won't get very much chatty chatty between phases I'm about to 
stud and get Maggie ready and then I will get changed and get myself ready. Um, I imagine it's going to be quite bish bash bosh, one because the timings are close and two because I think I'm going to start feeling a bit more sick than I'm feeling right now. But keep your fingers crossed for me and um, I'm hoping for a good run and a completion. Hamu, huh, she feels on fire so I just need to hold my nerve and crack on. She goes her own way like I don't give a damn girl and my god she owns it. So many heartbreaks goes back to 2014 and I think that she knows it. If you seen her, I know that you would believe it cuz I I know that you'd want her to. Yeah. Okay guys, no warm-up footage cuz I was too nervous to ask anybody to video us. So, novice test, a little bit harder than we usually do out of eventing. So, I was really pleased with that center line, very straight. Um, the judge only gave us a six because she put that the pole was a little low on the turn. Now we go into a 15 meter circle and um, not a bad size. And the judge has put another six with more control of outside shoulder. The next move is a three quarter line and then you leg yield after you pass um, like the E and B line. So she's straight here and then she goes straight across and there's a nice bit of crisscrossing. Um, we got another six for more control of hind quarters, which I think is relatively fair. The medium trot across the diagonal. I was quite pleased with the reaction, but we know we can do a better one of those. And we got a 6.5 with needs to stay connected. We then did a transition to walk and we did our three walk on a long rain, which we know providing I can get Maggie to stay in the walk, she's got an excellent walk and she got a seven with no comment. We then had to collect her back up to the medium walk at H and I was having a bit of a job containing my fiery ginger mare and we started jig jogging a little bit as you can see and we got a five for that with more relaxation tense which is very fair and so then we came along to do our 15 meter circle right and we got a 6.5 with softer over top line and i don't know for maggie this just all looks a tad hurried um, we then had to do the three quarter line this way with the leg yield and she's coming into a slightly better frame here and then we've got to wait until we cross that middle line and then do our leg yield which was a bit better and the judge rewarded us with a seven. Then we had to go up to canter right, there we go and we got another seven for the transition and then we did a medium canter on the half 20 meter circle you can see the lengthening of her strides um but we got a six with the comment of more balance indifference um so something to work on then we had to canter all the way around to the diagonal to which we got a seven and then a canter trot canter as we cross the center line and we <laughs> We got hammered for that we got a five against hand to trot and lots of trot steps so slap twist for me don't do as many trot steps another medium canter for this half 20 meter circle and we got a six with the same column comment balance indifference canter down the center line another six with balance on turn and actually that's probably the best turn down the center line Maggie's managed in canter yet, but you know, one of those things. And then we got a seven for our halt and a seven for her paces, a six for her impulsion, um, engage, suppleness and engagement she's underlined. She definitely had energy, <laughs> I'd say that. Um, 6.5 for a submission and a seven for my riding with lovely horse needs more balance and stay connected in um the work for more marks today so 
that added up to a 36.8, which isn't our usual score that we get for dressage. And um, I don't know, I think I feel like the marks could have been a little bit higher, but by the same token, I can see we had a lot of elements that we could improve on too. On to the show jumping. Right, I want you to cast your mind back um, a week before the event. So I was just going to show you a little bit of the preparation that we did. I went and hired a friend's arena that's got a full set of show jumps and she kindly put us a course out um, and we went and popped around the course. So you can see me just doing a bit of an exercise to make sure I don't sit and freeze at the little warm up fences. I've already popped around this course once at about a metre five height and then we stuck everything up to, I think it was a metre 15 and a couple at a metre 10. So the idea of novice is the course is a metre 10 with two fences at a metre 15. So my logic was if we could jump around a course of a metre 15 in a fairly tight arena, 30 by 50, then in theory, we could manage a course of a metre ten. Um, so you can see Maggie's really forwards. I'm cracking on. I'm getting on with the job. Our um, word for the day was to do something, anything. Just don't sit and freeze. And having to come off of those tight corners, I did have to get in there and just ride. And Maggie was really springing. And we think this was quite useful as well, just to get her up in the air a little bit. She is quite easy, easily shocked and very careful. So you start asking her to jump a bit bigger. And despite her having all the scope in the world, she goes, oh, the jumps have got a bit big. So it's quite good just to give her a bit of a reminder that she can get off the ground a little bit and jump through a few doubles because I find they're a little bit our bogey fences when it comes to show jumping because if she jumps a bit big in or whatever then I've got to like wait or make up the distance but she was jumping really great. So back to Norton and I just want to preempt this before we start the course with a massive thank you to everybody who came and supported and videoed us. We've got loads of angles for the vlog and I just so, so appreciate the support. Okay then, good first jump, straight on, good second jump. Let's watch that from the other angle. So a nice related distance and the idea was just maintain the balance and for me, to keep riding that good rhythm and if Maggie jumped big to get my leg on and ride her a bit more forward so she couldn't keep getting too high up in the air and she was really really springing you can see so this height of course was not phasing her and I was getting in there and riding and I will talk to you about it in another vlog but I did do a lot of mindset work. I had two sessions with my guy who helps me, bogey fence coming, double. Oh my goodness, I was a bit far off of that, but we dealt with it. So we put that gremlin to bed of last year when we jumped in big, I made up the distance for the one stride. Smart little flying change from Maggie and on to the next fence and I gave her a much nicer shot there. So yeah, I have, I have been working with... Um, a mindset guy on the run up to this, um, Mark, my usual go to guy, he's fantastic, and I do intend on doing a vlog about it soon. I just didn't want to do it before the event, um, because it's quite personal, so I wanted it to be when it's when it's time for me to share it, if that makes sense. Okay, last two fences. Whoa, and the crowd goes wild because she jumps a clear round around the novice track where she fell off last year. Clever, clever Maggie. Let's go see some cross country now. Okay then. Upcoming 2,500 metres of jangling nerves for my mother. Let's go. Off we go, Maggie. Da -da -da. All the way down to fence one, which she... Really over jumps. <laughs> and then let's wait for fence two. Oh, we jump even bigger. My goodness. Okay, so 
Maggie's got a little bit nervous and gone very, very careful on me, which makes my job quite difficult to get around this course. As you can see, she's spooking at everything and being very, very overcautious, which will be making life hard for her and making her lose her nerve a little bit. Luckily, we had a bit more of a normal jump at fence five, but we were then on to one of the most influential questions of the course. And um, yeah, we didn't quite manage it. So um, I reckon if it was a plain single shoulder brush, she'd have gone, but she was really, really spooking up to it. She did get a tap on the bottom with my padded bat um, to say, no, you do not stop. It's not safe to stop like that. And then she cracked on really well with her ears pricked through a really, really tricky combi. So I was so proud of her. We're allowed a few green moments. This is our first go around a proper, proper novice track. And look at her go. Clever, clever girl. And then we've got another nice let up fence before we come to another question. And she pops that really well. And then we come to the water, which is quite a bold attacking fence. And as you can see, we had our second stop there. She then came to the alternative that I'd brought around to and she really, really didn't want to jump into the water. As we know, Maggie's not a big fan of water, but she's getting better. And I was so proud of getting her off of that drop. So rules wise, guys, if your horse grinds to a halt in front of a fence of height, they are, it's classed as a refusal. If they grind to a halt, but do not step back in front of a fence, non-fence of height like a drop or a ditch you are not classed as a refusal providing they do not step back they can step to the side they can step forwards but not backwards so the fact that she jumped off from walk was fantastic news that was not a stop and I was really proud of her because I've never managed to get her to jump off of a step from walk so you know she's obviously really learning and then we come to the chicane which is quite spooky jumping between fields and she can be a little bit ditchy but she really cracked on with this so I was so so proud of her as you can see, we've bought the Equireal video um, and we've obviously got a lot of supporters that were out videoing us too. So you can see several angles and you can just see how she's flying. And then all of a sudden, it just felt like after the chicana, it suddenly clicked for Maggie. And I was so, so proud of her. So again, we've had a ch water trachea let up fence, which was quite large, but that's a let up fence. And then on to another question, pop over the skinny, which was full up, down the two steps, turn to another full up skinny. And she just flew it and went through so textbook. You'll get to see another two angles of this. Um, and I was so proud of her. It was almost as if we got through those sticky bits and she suddenly went, oh, mum, I get it. It makes sense. We're, we're just doing cross country. It's just a bit bigger, and a bit more technical, maybe. So um, as you can see, absolutely textbook through here. It was causing plenty of trouble, but not for Maggie. And then we had another let up friends before the next question came. The course at Norton is quite flat so um joe the course build makes it fairly grueling for the riders to ride around pretty relentless not many let up fences until the end um and then you can see these skinny mushrooms that we jump on a curve and i don't even have to take a pull she was just so on it this let up fence was nearly as big as me and yet she makes it look teeny tiny and she is just flying ears pricked absolutely on it and i feel like I learned a lot from the course, but she certainly learned a lot. And the fact that we could get round and get the mileage going in there was fantastic. So here you can see me approaching the rails and ditch, getting her really uphill so that her bottom is underneath her, ready to do a quick look at the ditch and jump. And she made a really good shape over that. And then we had to sort of set up and do this wiggle and a turn for the shoulder brush. And she just flew over it. It was literally like half around the course, she went, I've got it. I was so proud of her. I wasn't in a hurry for the course anyway. 
particularly not in a hurry after I'd had the stops. So we just went round in this sort of workmanlike canter and you can just see she's really, really on it. Really straight and honest. She really, really tried her best. I adore this mare. And I just think now we've got that under our belt, like my gremlins of not managing to complete a novice for however many years are finally getting put to bed and Maggie has got around her first one and we've got the whole season to go. Maggie is a novice horse. <laughs> Hello vlog. This is Gru. Hi. Gru has been being a wonderful groom all day long. <laughs> she comes for lessons and she's due to be jumping around her first event at the end of the month. So good luck to Gru. <laughs> and we're just walking what should be her course soon and then gonna go get home get maggie home so not the clear cross country you might dream of but we got around which is what i was dreaming of today i was really really hoping for get from a to b through the start box through the finish legs and maggie did it so anyway i'll chat to you later we'll have to eat pringles <laughs> guys jump around our first novice you honestly would not believe how long I've been waiting for this. I have been wanting to go novice since I was doing under 18s. Now, I'm not being funny, I am 26 now and I am on my third horse that we've been attempted to do it by because we've had some really bad luck over the years. And we have done it, haven't we Mo? I'm gonna get her out to the field because she's keen to get back out. And I'll chat to you more in a sec. So no, we didn't have the clear cross country. She um, she jumped really big the first few fences out. Um, it's funny, there's a guy there who, lovely Dennis, he takes pictures and he um, made sure he was placed to take a few photos. And he literally said when we came back, what happened at two? Oh my goodness, you jumped so big, you jumped out of my frame. So that gives you an idea of how huge she was jumping and I think I think that's um it was a bit of a shock and then she sort of scared herself a little bit and then lost a bit of confidence and then the hardest bit parts of the course came up where she'd lost her confidence so we we dealt with it we managed to sort it out obviously we managed to jump the direct route on second attempt at the brushes and corner and then um I think Donut's just zapped himself because I've just watched him launch in the air. Good girly. Ah, Mum's on a bike. He's spooky. He's right the way over there. Good girl, Miss Moo. So, yeah, we, we jumped the direct route. Obviously, when she had the stop at the drop into the water, there was no point going direct. So I went long route. She still had to drop off, which she really did think about, but she got on and did. And then we did a loop round rather than jumping the triple brush. Um, we can go jump direct another day. Today for me was such a big deal to complete. I can't, obviously it's such a big deal to have Maggie back anyway, but I've been wanting to do this for so long and it's evaded us for so long. So to complete and to jump clear show jumping, and it was a tough track. There was loads of people having trouble. I don't know whether it was where the sun had gone, but literally everybody for about the half an hour when I was going, there was trouble, there was eliminations. The person in the lead had two stops at the drop into water because they obviously thought their horse should go and asked them to jump off that same drop again and it still didn't go. So I don't know if the sun was shining off the water for me. Whatever it was, she's amazing. By the time she jumped that long route round the water and got through the chicane, she was then flying and she just did everything textbook. And she's gonna, we're gonna both have learnt so much from that. I've never jumped round a novice, so it's a big learning curve for me. Quite a frightening, you know, I was very nervous. All the fences are huge and the combinations are so much more technical and skinny and come up quicker. So, it's a big deal guys and yeah I, I don't know if it makes sense how much it means to me but it means so much and 
the fact that she's stood hand grazing with me is also the best thing ever because we are actually the exact date is a week away um next friday but it was actually good friday that she became really unwell last year and it's good friday today i hadn't really realized uh, otherwise i'd have been superstitious and i wouldn't have booked her in for today but i hadn't realized it was good friday today but it was good friday last year that she went down so the fact that we've got home and she's eating and seems well i will be checking on her several times tonight but from where we were probably about this time of night good friday last year when she started colicking to now she's here with us we've just been around our first novice a tough novice at that and she's been amazing i'm so excited for what's to come with her right anyway i need to go pull myself together because i've got donut on tomorrow he's doing his first 100 despite um having not um jumped on before and not actually had a proper run eventing yet this season but you know if it's going to be a big weekend we might as well make it a proper big weekend and um yeah thank you so much for watching i'm so glad that i've documented this thank you so much for everybody who's um come and supported me today i felt so so loved and supported there's been so many of you it's amazing i really really appreciate it i'm gonna go sort the lorry out ready for tomorrow and give my pony a big big hug see you later guys everyone's taking their shot but missing out on the cut I think she knows that She drives him crazy when she's looking like that The way she's moving makes him want it so bad It's the attention that we wish that we had Yeah, it's almost cruel Cause I want her to Oh yeah, I'm running in circles just to make her react My heart is racing, yeah, I want her so bad I wanna kiss her but Got some stuff. Goddamn, she's so fly. Knows how to write a good song. At least better than.